What's going on everybody? Nick from Six Foot Eight Fishing here. Today is going to be the fourth episode of the Tiny Lure Challenge. I've had a blast with these so far, so I hope you guys are not getting tired of them. But today is going to feature a pretty sweet looking lure. The lure that I'm talking about is actually a miniature crawfish. I have two of them. As you can see, this one's got a larger bill. So I'm assuming it dives down a little bit deeper than its counterpart. But I think I'm gonna try this one first. If I do get it snagged, I'll have a backup. Okay guys, first cast. Let's see how this thing does. Oh, there's a fish. No, oh, came off. It is diving fairly deep. I can't confirm how deep it is diving because I don't know the actual depth, but I could feel it just bumping along the bottom, which could be a good or bad thing, but uh, I definitely had a fish there for a second. There's a fish. First fish. I was getting worried there for a second. I've been fishing for about 15, 20 minutes. Look at this beauty. Finally caught one. See you later, buddy. Okay, so I finally caught a fish with that crawdad, but I'm gonna switch over to the second one and see if it does any better. There's a fish. Oh, it's a bass, it's a bass, it's a bass. No, it broke. You got, oh, that would've been so bad, you guys. <laughs> See you later, buddy. First cast, and I actually caught a bass with this little lure. And I almost lost it because when I was pulling him out of the water, the line snapped and he almost swam off. So I'm feeling pretty lucky that I still have this, but uh, I'm gonna keep fishing and see what else I can catch. There's a fish. See, I need to remember that I only have two pound test. This line breaks super easy, but uh, this is a small fish. I don't think it's gonna have a problem. Little bluegill. So you go from catching a bass to a nice little bluegill. Pretty versatile little bait. So as far as retrieve goes, I'm actually retrieving it similar to how I was retrieving that uh, the other crawdad. Just a slow, steady retrieve. Nothing fancy. There we go. Yes. This thing catches everything. Check out this beautiful fish. See you later, buddy. Okay guys, so I thought I'd go over really quickly the setup that I'm using. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, but uh, if you guys are interested, the rod is a five foot, six inch ultralight rod. It's made by St. Croix. The cool thing about this rod though, is that it's actually a four piece travel rod. And I brought this to Colorado the uh, last time I went out there, had no problem bringing it on a plane. So it's a really nice little rod. On there, I have a small ultralight reel spooled at two pound test fluorocarbon. So if you guys are interested in any of this stuff that I'm fishing with, the links will be in the description. So uh, feel free to check that stuff out, but I'm gonna get back to fishing, hopefully catch a few more fish before it gets too dark. Here we go. Very cool looking fish. See you later, buddy. Okay guys, it's getting pretty dark out here. The sun set about 15 minutes ago. I'm gonna try to catch one more fish. Fish on, fish on. Okay. <laughs> It's not the biggest fish in the world, but I will take it. Nice little bluegill. See you later, buddy. I had a blast fishing with these little crawfish crankbaits. I definitely think the fish were more attracted to the shallower presentation. Comment below, what are some of your guys' favorite ultralight fishing lures? As always, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one. Okay, last cast. 
Maybe not. <laughs>